Everyone, welcome back to see the stories. And we're still with Dian from the 3D Oasis, a recycling uh, company, I'll say. Social enterprise. Yeah, social enterprise, making plastic, whether it's high value or low value, into something that is useful. So you don't have to throw away the plastic all the time. Um, or you can throw it and Dian will do something about it, right? <laughs> so now we want to know more. You said that actually um, if you recycle this into something else, uh, this is the low value plastic from sachets and all that, you can actually help to um, minimize the coal or yeah, saving the environment through that. So how, how, how is that possible? Which industry is that? Yeah. What we have worked is from last year is uh, with cement industry mm -hmm. because we realized that in the cement production uh, they produce a lot of emission, carbon emission mm -hmm. to the like globally. Uh, so one of their goal is how to reduce the carbon emission, and mm -hmm. one of them is uh, how to use alternative fuel to replace the coal. Uh, and then plastic itself essentially has a color, right? Like producing the heat like mm, like calories uh, heat yeah, yeah. calorie like like the coal uh, so then what we do is uh, we supply to the cement company mm -hmm. uh, and then they replace the uh, coal with the plastic waste wow so they use it as an alternative fuel mm. uh, to so they need a lot they, they need, need a lot, lot essentially yes how a lot actually <laughs> I think thousands ton even per month. Yeah. So maybe in the future we have a plastic pedestrian pavement walk. I mean, for people. It's actually walk. good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think people walk already have it, right? Like some initiatives and mm. or in other countries. Yeah. Wow. Right. That's something. Yeah. Talking about uh, recycling and social enterprise. I mean, um, I mean, you're not the only one uh, uh, who is doing this, right? No. Uh, I mean, and, and, I mean, we need more. <laughs> yeah. and, yes, you're right. So how can we differentiate uh, uh, you as a 3D Oasis uh, comparing to other movement? So what is your uniqueness? In this? Yes, I mean, our uniqueness is we concentrate in the plastics and recycling. So I mean, some people are concentrated, let's say, on the campaign or they make, let's say, souvenir or something and so on. I mean, our our uniqueness is one is we concentrate on plastics and then we do the recovery, like should make something. Yeah. Uh, it's not only like collect or something. That, that is one. Uh, and then second is we work uh, with the local, like the local residents, start with local residents and especially for plastic sachet, for example, our collection project together with uh, Alliance and Plastic Waste is an organization uh, that is focusing, it's fo it's non-profit organization and uh, they're granting us like fun uh, in order to us to collect more plastic sachets, low value plastics. Um, and then, then we use this fund actually specifically to do the project with the local housewives. Oh. Uh, mm. Yes, and the mini shops, warung, because they are producing the plastic sachet. And we also educate them to start to sort the waste, start from the source, from the housings. And of course, those housings, they use uh, shampoo sachets, oil, cooking oil, anything, the snacks from the kids, uh, and so on, straws, and so on. So we teach them how to sort it. Uh, and then we in, we collect it like every month, and then we incentivize with the groceries. Mm. With so, the groceries, yes, huh? with the groceries <laughs> like rice, sugar, because Which if they, they just give money, day. like uh, because it's low value, right? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. give money, it's like oh, this is this, this much. Yeah. But then we become like a coupon, something like that, that mm. we give them like a card, oh, like yeah. a coupon. Yeah. So if they already collect, let's say four, uh, which is four weeks a month, then they entitled to get. One grocery. Yeah, one grocery. Grocery. That's been a, like Powering a movement others. right now in Tangerang because because those housewives it's like they get excited. Oh, I will come back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do great. you give some like uh, the more uh, plastic more sachet than the more groceries you will get? Ah, no, no, not no. yet. <laughs> <laughs> they will be fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, we're talking about plastic uh, awareness. I mean, plastic waste as an awareness. Not only people at the uh, urban areas, but also on the rural areas. I don't know whether you have touched those areas yet, but um, is it going to be your next target demographically? Maybe you can tell us more about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've mentioned about housewives. 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 Yes. housewives. One so the... founded by women and empowering women. Women that's empowering that's, women. Yeah, that's the mission as well, mm. right? I mean, that just realize after that, like, oh yeah, that, that, that would be good because women 
uh, I'd say those house housewives can create more impact because they tell the kids, mm. tell the other ladies and so on. So in terms of demographically, to answer your question, I mean right now we are located in Tangerang, it's what we call 3D1. Um, and then so we work with the local housewives in Tangerang area, which is I would say Tangerang is not rural, <laughs> but even in the city area, right, the waste management infrastructure is still need to be like developed or improved. So uh, we just had a groundbreaking of our new facility in Kendal, Central Java. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's not also rural, but uh, it's another area that we would like to concentrate to create more impact. Uh, because Central Java still has like lower collection rate in terms of plastic waste compared to Jabodetabek or Jakarta, Bogor, Depok, Tangerang. And then we will do the same thing, PET as well, PET bottles. And that project is we, it's part of our, let's say, strategic partnerships in terms of the growing the company. Mm -hmm. So we do a joint venture with a, a foreign company called Alba Group Asia. It's oh. a waste management company. Yeah. So Where does it come from, the Alba? The Alba from group. Germany. From Germany. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, Alia and yeah. Ian, I've mentioned about the, uh, the issue of ocean plastic debris. Ocean plastic. Yeah. And then, so, my, our next question is, how important is it for us to learn more about waste pollution, uh, particularly in terms of uh, the plastic that end up in the ocean or ocean plastic debris? Mm -hmm. uh, it's really important. Mm -hmm. It's really like it, like it's like a new uh, chapter, new new different chapter of the issue of uh, plastic waste pollution, I think. Or an old chapter. <laughs> <laughs> old chapter. Just found it now. Just it's still there. By now, yeah. Embrace, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows actually, ocean is our life, right? Yeah. Because it produces oxygen and so on. Like, if there is no ocean, then there is no life. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And then based on the research, they say that it's scary, but <laughs> they say that 2050 or something, there will be like the same amount of fish and the plastics in the sea. Same what? I don't know. Same the plastic waste yes. will be the same amount of the fish uh, wow. numbers. And wow. That's scary, yeah. but I mean, you read somewhere as well, right? Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. But is it, so that's, if that happens, that's really scary. Yes, yes. So, so then that become, if you say how important to like, <laughs> give yourself knowledge on yeah. that pollution, especially to the ocean. That's I think that's really important. That's really important. Um, and I mean, can, can you give us some tips? I mean, how to elevate our knowledge? I mean, we know about recycling, <laughs> reusing, yeah. and you know, reduce yeah. uh, for plastic. And then, then now, it's ancient maybe the, the a new thing, but it's new thing of the ocean plastic debris issue. So how should we elevate uh, our awareness, yes. particularly yes. for this uh, issue? For particularly for this issue, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, we have uh, specific like activities. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, because we also co-founded Beach Cleanup Jakarta. Oh, it's right. a community. I mean, mm -hmm. Google Instagram Beach Cleanup Jakarta. Google again. <laughs> and the thing is, uh, we always do beach cleanup event. Like, ask volunteers to come, and we always say that our objective is obviously not cleaning up the beach because it will not get clean. Even though it's get clean, maybe in one hour then. Yeah. You will have another new one will fresh. come again. Another yes. supply will come instantly. Exactly. exactly. So the objective is again to create awareness, huh? but not through the campaign. I mean, you see everywhere, but this is like it's your experience. Right. And we always say before the cleanup, like this, this is like a meditation or something that you can reflect during the cleanup because you can see, like probably this is your snacks that Perhaps you consume that five ended minutes somewhere in that the, ended somewhere in that mind. island my yeah instant noodle. maybe right <laughs> oh. mm. i mean you consume it like five minutes but you don't know how it goes and then it's just how it stays there forever yeah and so then you can find gross. funny stuff like last time our participant found instant noodle from 2000 the so year 2000. Like the year, we produced the year 2000 because there is a in Independence Day Indonesia riot. Oh my God! 2000, yeah. and then we just said, Oh my God, this is 20 years old. Trash. 23 years old. If we, if we found oh, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's 20, 20, 23 years old. 20 yeah. years old. So that experience like give you not only knowledge but you also get the experience, right? I mean, knowledge you can see everywhere from YouTube or something, but. If you see really directly the impact, uh, yeah. and then you see the stereo form or coffee cup that you consume maybe five or ten minutes, but there you can see it's already broken down yeah. and then eaten by the birds yeah. in the island. I mean, I see it myself. Uh, so yeah. 
So the next time I meditate, I'm going to meditate in front of a plastic trash. <laughs> Go experience yes. yourself. Go with the beach clean up uh, uh, moment. With, yeah, right. yeah, beach yeah. clean up moment. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, uh, can I bring my children as well for this bleach? Sure. Definitely. I mean, but how old? Um, Not that super... Uh, eight like, and Oh, that, and that's, definitely, right. yes. that's definitely, yes. Yeah. That's definitely. I'm they, thinking they this understand is one already. of my... Yes. Yes. Holiday school. Yeah, and this generation actually <laughs> yeah, we bring last time uh, be uh, one of the elementary school. Yeah. Uh, you know, like a group. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So Dian, thank you so much for sharing, and thank we you wish so you much. very best of luck. Yeah. Although we wish that no more plastic ba uh, waste, <laughs> more and more within the years. But at least for now, we know that it is useful for something else. So thanks to Dian once again. We hope that we hear news from you and also the beach cleanup. Akhir will come with yeah. kids. Yes. Go check the Instagram. Yeah, yeah. during the <laughs> holiday school season, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. we've been talking about uh, and discussing, talking uh, and discussing with uh, Diane, talking about uh, 3D Oasis and talking about uh, this topic. Small steps can deliver major impacts on the world or in the world. So what can we do to help the environment? Let's take a look this clip. The first easy way to reduce plastic is to make it a habit to always carry a refillable drinking bottle. Every year, nearly 20 billion plastic bottles end up in the trash. By bringing your own drinking bottle, you can help reducing the use of plastic bottles. Moreover, now many beverage outlets offer discounted prices if you use your own bottle. Drinking bottles are also definitely safe to use over and over again, unlike packaged plastic bottles. Next, every time you make a drink order, think again. Are straws really needed? Well, if not, don't ask for a straw to reduce its use. Plastic straws are one of the most common plastic waste found in the oceans, which are certainly dangerous for marine animals. Usually when shopping at the market or supermarket, buyers always get a plastic bag to store the vegetables, fruit, or other food items they buy. To avoid this, bring a shopping bag or food container so that the purchased food ingredients do not have to be stored in plastic bags. And lastly, many food vendors use plastic containers to package their food, so it's best to always bring your own food containers besides being easy and you're also helping to reduce plastic waste in the world. Isn't it nice?